What's going on guys? This is Jacoby, also known as the coolest nerd ever. Today we're back with another video. Today's video we're going to be covering page speed. We're going to be talking about page speed because Shopify recently came out with an update to their interface showing how fast your website is running. We've had some customers reach out with concerns on if their website is running fast or slow. So I'm going to show you what Shopify came up with and actually show you real-time page speed. And I'm also going to show you some other competitors, some heavy hitters in your industry and probably in a different industry who also may suffer from some page speed problems. So we're going to go over that video. We're going to dive right into it. Let's go. All right. So first thing first, we're going to cover um, one of our clients' websites. This is a client that we have. Um, her brand is called The Main Mafia, a really successful beauty brand. And if you notice right here, Shopify recently came out with a new update that's made some customers, you know, uh, scratch their heads a little bit. And it says online store speed. It says the score shows how fast your store is loading for visitors. Store speed is affected by installing apps, editing theme code, and the size of images and videos. Learn more right so if you're a customer and this is your first website or even if you're a tenth website if you've seen a page speed that look a little little less than average you have every right to be a little bit concerned but i just want to talk to you guys about what real page speed and relevant page speed to your actual business model so hitting this button view report you can go through the ins and outs of trying to do this but i'm just going to advise you not to even go through those additional steps uh it doesn't really bring any value to your life it's just going to be kind of diving in a rabbit hole of trying to understand what this even means so page speed shopify is equating the page speed of you having little to no content of a freshly installed vanilla theme a theme that really doesn't have much content in it if you're a brand and you're selling something like beauty products, if you're selling something like hair, then you're going to need content. So the average page speed that you're going to see, which is still considered a good page speed, is about 28 to 50. That's about the average page speed once you have content in your website. Now, that doesn't affect the real time low speed of what your customers are, are experiencing. The only way to really judge real time page speed is in, interacting with the website yourself. So. Even though this says 48, I'm going to show you guys real time, real live page speed of me loading the website if I'm a customer coming to the website. So I want you to be realistic and not get caught up on this number and thinking this is the reason why you're not making sales, right? We're not going to use this as a scapegoat uh, for a reason on, you know, why a customer didn't check out or why a deal or a promotion didn't work for you. So let's take a look at this brand here. We're going to load this up fresh. Imagine we didn't see that page speed of 48, right? Coming to the website. Now this is with me having multiple things running, my video technology running, being able to record this screen. We have the loading screen that comes in. Then we have the banner model, text, and then a the shop now button. So our banners are considered dynamic, so those banners do load in. As I scroll down, we have our collections already set, pre-ready to go. And then we have our products that also load in. Loads in pretty good, right? Scrolling over next, we have our video that drops in. So the more content that we have and we add to the website, you are going to not see a 99 or 85 page speed, right? So scrolling in, everything has to have some type of moving parts. Now, again, if I'm shopping, I'm clicking through the products, this is the experience that I'm experiencing. So regardless of what Shopify is saying the page speed is on the back end, if I'm the customer, I'm having a pretty fluid and seamless experience. I've already made it to the checkout page adding three bundles, right? So we're not going to harp too much on this theme. I want to show you some other big brands. So I'm sure if you're watching this video and if you have an Instagram or <laughs> If you're online at all, you've heard of Fashion Nova. So we're gonna take a look at Fashion Nova, a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar brand. And I wanna see what Google even says their page speed is when it comes to people browsing, right? So it takes a couple seconds to analyze this. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be higher than 48 or lower than 48, right? So let's see, maybe I'll type it in wrong. So let's go fashionnova.com. All right. So I'm gonna pull this up see what it says All right, so it's 
analyzing, 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 getting close. And just to give you, um, you know, a, a pro tip, it is a couple ways to decrease uh, image sizes and keep the quality. I'm going to show you guys uh, a couple of my bag, bag of tricks. Now, look at this. Google is saying Fashion Nova page speed is a five. Right, if I go to fashionnova.com, this is my experience as a customer. Right, so if I click the Fashion Nova website, because they have so much content, you ha they're going to have a low page speed when it comes to uh, artificial intelligence judging how fast their website works. Right, when it comes to a computer judging a computer, but we're humans, right? And a human processor isn't processing as fast as a computer is processing. So for me as a customer, the page speed is perfectly fine. It says their page speed is a five. Let's take a look at another brand just so we won't think this is a fluke. Now, this is another big brand out there that you guys should be familiar with, another billion dollar brand, right? Let's see what Google says their page speed is. And these are two brands that uh, we didn't necessarily develop for. These are some of our competitors. Um, and, but we also assisted these brands in other uh, design work or uh, other consulting. So I want you to look at what Google says their actual page speed is. So let's, oh, so a four. So Pretty Little Things says a four and Fashion Nova says a five. And that's not stopping them from making billions. So we don't want to hear about excuses of saying that's the reason why you may not be getting sales. So we have to look into some other things. You can always reach out to us and we can have a consultation or a strategy call and set that up to see what we can do to help you increase your sales. So again, guys, don't harp on this speed score here. I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks though. If you are the type of customer that, that's just like, you know what, Jacoby, I don't care what you said. I don't care what Google said. I don't believe you. So this is a website that I like to use to decrease my image sizes. So one of the biggest concerns that we have from a lot of customers who uh, reach out to us is that the quality of photos sometimes aren't that great, right? A lot of times customers are sending us photos directly off their cell phones, um, they're compressed, and it may make your photo a little bit blurry, right? But your website will run faster with a lower size file and it'll run a little tad bit slower, but not enough for you to visibly notice it, right? So let's say if I upload a file to this website called Optimazilla, it looks like they've changed the name to Image Compressor, but if you Google Optimazilla, it'll pull up. So you can upload a file, and what Optimazilla does, it keeps the quality of the image with decreasing the size at the same time. Now, this is only if you want to be extra. This isn't necessary, right? So this image was four megabytes. Four megabytes mean that was a really high quality photo. So all I did was upload this photo to Optimazilla. It decreased it by 70%. It took it down from an original four megabytes to 1.2 megabytes, which is 70% uh, in smaller size but it still was able to keep the quality, right? You can look at it, the colors decreased a tad. Like is my, my customer here or my picture here, the lips aren't as pink, the skin doesn't have as much vibrant color. So you're gonna take a decrease or a hit on quality if you wanna decrease the image. But that is if you're really concerned about trying to appease this for your mental anxiety, right? So same thing for videos. Let's say if you have a video and you have a really large video, here's another bag, uh, here's another trick in my bag. Um, you go to this website called Ucompress and I'm giving you guys free sauce right now. This is gonna be information that's, um, you know, people are charging for. But I go to a website called Ucompress and I'll find a video, right? I'll click the video. I select up, upload file, and you compress does the does the does the exact same thing as uh, Optimazilla. So it just compresses videos. So this took the video down from 4.59 megabytes to 2.88, and it decreased it by 37%. All I have to do is select download, 
and it downloads so I still kind of keep the quality of my video and now I can upload a lower uh, smaller file to my website to help increase the page speed uh, minimal this is gonna be a minimal increase so that's it for this video I don't want to make this a long video but we wanted to make this video because we had some customers reach out and then they say my website is running slow my website is running slow and then we get on the website and it's running perfectly fine so again I'm gonna run through this again you know uh, just the eyeball test and I'm gonna do it on mobile just to reinforce that confidence in you guys that your website is not running slow guys so I'm gonna put it on mobile right and um, it's the reason why a lot of these heavy hitter comp companies who are making millions of dollars reach out to us because we're gonna make sure that your website is as proficient and seamless as possible so scrolling through as you see the eyeball test runs perfectly fine even at a 48 so even if it was 28 it'll still move right boom so I can click it so this one's sold out all right, cool. So I think um, I've got that across. I've kind of beat that uh, beat that through enough. So uh, thank you so much for your business. Uh, on to the next video. All right, cool. Have a good one.